Cancer, welcome to your Sunday Shuffle. For this week, I decided to do an open-end reading, which is to say non-specific placements. I'm going to draw you five cards, clarify them, and see how they might fit you for the upcoming week or thereabouts. We're doing immediate future readings, yeah? All right, very excited. As you can see, we're in a new area. Well, new for you. This is my upstairs office where all the real magic happens. Processing, editing, all that fun stuff. But I was like, you know what? Let's get out from behind the big desk and go to another one. <laughs> no, but I thought, you know what? It's a little closer and it's just something different, right? Yeah, let's incorporate something different. Let's do it. I'm all for it. What's going on, please, for that Cancerian? Collective energy. Show me Cancer, please. Show me Cancer. What's going on? Show me Cancer, please. Upcoming week. Current energies. What's up? The chariot, that's you. Nine of Wands, they're like, hell no, that ain't happening. A hanged man, pause, rest, I'm not into this. Okay, okay, okay. The Ace of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, there is something being presented to you. All right, I feel like this is going to be a little bit here and a little bit there. Um, the chariot, you're here showing up and that's always a good thing. There is a certain level of empowerment that you have right now. And there's something here that feels like it's pressing on you and you're like, I don't want to deal with this right now. It feels a little defensive, and if you're blocking, it's for a reason, especially if you're showing up in your own power stance as the chariot. So that means you're probably correct. Uh, there's something here you're defending against, and I'm like, I'm not having it. The hanged man. Don't pressure me right now. I need time out. I need to think about this. I need to feel about this. I'm trying to figure something out and just suspend all activity, but don't pressure me into doing anything right now. There's that sense. There is that, and you're showing up, you're present, so it's not like you're not taking whatever this is seriously, but you're also saying, not yet. And then I have around you an Ace of Pentacles and a Seven of Pentacles. Could be a brand new opportunity in work. It could be an increase in coin. It could be something to do with an offer or a gift. I don't know. It doesn't look too crazy because the Seven of Pentacles is nearby, so that tells me it's something that you're already familiar with or you were possibly anticipating. Let's get into it. Show me that chariot, please. Show me that chariot. Show me that chariot. I do hope you had a happy birthday. We just, or we're about to enter Leo season. Right there around the 20th. Nonetheless, I do hope you had a happy birthday. What's going on, please? Show me. Show me that chariot, please. Show me that chariot. Nine of Pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune. You know, the tower, something came, you're just like, I was doing just fine, and then this popped up. <laughs> you were doing just, so something happened, it looks like in the preceding weeks, I'm not going into the past, but it could have been not too long ago, where something came up and it's presenting itself as either transformative or challenging, and you're saying, just give me a minute, give me a minute, give me a minute, I, I will deal with this, just give me a minute. So I don't know what that is, but you're like, all was well, I was fine, until that happened. I don't know what that was, but it was enough that people are looking at you to make some sort of action or response. So I don't know what that tower is. Okay. You see it as a little bit of, I was doing fine. I was in my car. I was minding my own business with the chariot. I associate it with vehicles, obviously. Um, I was fine. I was minding my business and then eh, whatever that tower is. Okay. So let's see what that is because it puts you on defense. Um, so I'm trusting that as correct. It just, it's probably your immediate reaction. Show me that nine of wands, please. Show me that nine of wands. Show me that nine of wands. Show me that nine of wands. It's like I'm not trying to deal with that level of change right now, but if I must do, <laughs> if I must, okay. <laughs> Just give me a minute. Nine of Wands, give me a minute. If I was lately titling your, I was like, give me a minute. Ten of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, Two of Wands. So the decision to be made, there is communication and it's flying around your foundation. So I know it's important and it is something that you feel like you were having to deal with. So there might have been some sort of change in your surrounding network of family, resources, career stuff. I don't know. Community, bare minimum. That says, uh, Cancer, deal with this, deal with this now. And you're like, God. Dang it. <laughs> you are being expected to communicate. You are being expected to contribute to whatever the resolution is. And you are being expected to take part in the transformation or to at least sort it out. So I don't know what the heck popped up. You are expected to be involved. You know that. You're not unaware of it. It's just your response. Let's take a look at that hanged man. You're saying, I need a second. This is the foundation we're talking about. I'm going to need a second. 
So it's looking like people rely upon you or looking at you to solve whatever this is or to give your opinion on it or to weigh in on it. I'm sorry, I can't get anything more specific. But the idea is, is that whatever this is could fundamentally change things in your surrounding environment. And it's looking like people are looking to you to either solve it or to participate in the preservation of it. Fixing it, I don't know. Let's see that hanged man. Three of Pentacles, King of Swords, make a decision, King of Pentacles. We're talking about the stability here. Okay, so there is this concept of fix it, fix it, fix it, just not right now. You're, I think you're playing for time because you need to figure out how you're going to fix it. You're, it's not that you're not there. It's not that you're not absent. It's not that you're not thinking about it. You're like, I want the best possible results. So this thing popped up. I don't know what that pop-up is, but it's looking like it was fairly fresh not too long ago. Weeks? Days? I don't know. And, um... It has the potential to change things. I don't know to what extent that you're trying to make a decision about that very thing. You're communicating, but right now you have not developed an action plan. Because you're like, how much of this actually needs fixing? Maybe this isn't a bad thing. I feel like that's what you're trying to sort out. Maybe we can use this. Maybe we can incorporate it. I don't know, hanged man. I have, or I'm trying to develop a plan between you and someone else to the fix it activity. So you expect someone else to cooperate with you, bare minimum. There's one other person here that you expect to cooperate with you in this. But it's almost like, is this really an emergency, though? I think this can wait. Let's see how it plays out a little bit. And then we can talk about what we're going to quote-unquote do. I'm sorry it's so vague. It either applies to you or it doesn't. But uh, the idea is, is that, you know, it could change things. But from your point of view, it's like that's not necessarily a bad thing. I don't think we have to go rushing in with a solution. This just might be another opportunity. Maybe we can use this. Maybe we can incorporate it. I don't know. It's very interesting. You're showing me a certain level of flexibility. It's like, guys, calm down. It's probably not all that. It's interesting. Well, there's a reason why people are looking at you, honey. That's probably why. Is the way you're seeing it and or interpreting it, that's why they're looking at you. Okay. Uh, whoever's in there with you knew that you would have a certain level of insight about how to incorporate whatever this is. And that it may not necessarily be a bad change. It's just another opportunity. It's just transformation in disguise. I think it's very cool um, that you are suspending this idea of rushing in. Let me think about it. Everybody calm down. You know, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. In fact, it might be good for us or this situation or the whatever. For the family, for work. For, uh, commu what did I, I say? I was about to say commuting or commuting. It's not necessarily a bad thing. It just requires a little bit of an adjustment. I think that's good. I think that's good. I like that. Ace of Pentacles. Show me this Ace of Pentacles, please. Knight of Cups. Justice. Four of Swords. Yeah, you see, you're taking time. You're figuring out what to do with this. You're actually, whatever this is that everybody else is like, should we freak out? You're like, this could be an opportunity. That's exactly what I was saying. You think this might be an opportunity. It's just everybody calm down. Let's think about it. How can we use this to our advantage? I completely agree. Good job. I like this. I like this a lot. Knights of Cups, Justice of Four Swords. You've given this a lot of thought. You're, and you're telling people this might actually be good. This could be an opportunity in disguise. It doesn't have to be a big fallout, guys. It doesn't have to be. Just, maybe this will play out in our favor. Who knows? It's a good thing. Uh, it could be that somebody's work schedule changed, a routing schedule in terms of transit has changed. I don't know why the communication thing... Not commu mm. It's something to do with... It's something to do with the movement and the schedules. I can't quite see it. Uh, that's not a disaster. I could work through this. We can all work with this. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. See, we all just need to take a time out and not overreact. Let's just, it might be a good thing. Uh, but yeah, you say you got it. It's no big deal. You're, you're choosing to see this as an opportunity and one that might work out for everybody, including yourself. That's great. Uh, so I'm gonna, again, I'm sorry it's so big. <laughs> I'm trying to hone in on what this is, but it's just there's so much chatter surrounding you. Um, what is this? What is this? How are we going to deal with it? How are we going to deal with it? How are we going to deal with it? Just hang out. Just chill. It might unfold itself in a particular way to our advantage. Show me that Seven of Pentacles, please. You're like, this actually might lead to other things. It's very positive. I like that. Optimism. Very good optimism. 
Ten of Cups, Six of Swords, and Nine of Wands. There it is. There you go. There you go. That Nine of Wands with the resistance here, we're moving away from that. It's looking like we're having some sort of readjustment and steady growth. It's like we're incorporating whatever this change is instead of denying it or saying, oh, no, it has no room. It's looking like you're making room for whatever this is. It's like you, you are not disturbed or perturbed by it. You're, you're incorporating it, and everybody seems to be better for it. There are some concepts that we are leaving behind, but particularly that resistance. It's like things have smoothed out considerably. Um... You know, it does seem to require more effort and or travel. I'm not quite sure how to express that. It keeps coming up. Or an adjustment. An adjustment in terms of how we approach our work or a network or something. Uh, you're like, now I can incorporate those changes. It's not a big deal. In fact, it might be better for everybody. I don't quite know, but the energy becomes smoother, specifically getting away from that sense of resistance, or this might even be a problem. In fact, it could work out. It could work out. Okay? So it's looking like that's exactly what it is. Um, they were looking to you for a reason, honey. It's looking like they were trying to get a gauge on this situation based on your response, and your response is, is guys, it's probably not that big of a deal. It's nothing that we can't work through. I'm so sorry. It's so vague. There's a cooperation element here involving multiple people. It's not just you in there. And they're all trying to chatter. They're all trying to have their say. The only thing I've seen that you do is like, hey, guys, hold your horses. We don't have to decide anything right away. I can work with this construct. In fact, it might be good for everybody. All right? Just chill. We got it. In fact, whatever this is that you were adjusting for might usher in different opportunities in other areas. I'm not sure why, but you feel it that way and you're interpreting it that way. So you're going with the flow, okay? And you're incorporating flow, you're incorporating adjustments and change. Um, that's great. You know, if you must have a tower, uh, make room for it. That's why it's there. You know? All right, very good. Yeah, sorry, I, I, that's it. But good job, good job keeping everybody calm and level-headed and good for you. Um, there you go, honey. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I see every, the energy smoothing out for you in the week or so. Okay? Just suspend it and encourage other people to suspend from it. It's okay. We'll see how it's incorporated, all that. Um, it's, it's getting worked out. It's, I'm sorry. I just don't have much else for you. <laughs> That's not a bad week, though, eh? That's not a bad week. Yeah, good job on incorporating that element, that change or whatever, and being optimistic about it. Good job. All right, Cancer Honey, put in the comments as you see fit. Take care. Be well.